in the most and the section board okay so okay. just really simple for so nanti delhi that will be i have known to section for such a on more channel in faster degree same for the same section for 45 degree so it will come from the distal end part same of layer yeah so just clean it the purpose of doing uh, this two places no so if you do biopsy this from this for so biopsy for mm -hmm. the entire connecting tube it will get clean oh. and 90 degree in suction channel the universal card will get clean oh. so remaining portion is this much so to clean this part this portion mm -hmm. we have to insert 45 degree also oh. so this entire channel uh, from scope connector to this will get clean So this is air water channel. We yeah. cannot uh, clean with brush. So suppose not to uh, connect, clean with the brush. Oh, the brush will not enter inside the uh, air water channel because that is very small uh, channel. Okay. So to clean that one, it's better to use uh, injection tube. Mm -hmm. So connect. section port air water bottle port and this part and the channel plug also So this this part will immerse in the water okay. on plush it. So don't take uh, water uh, directly from the tub like this. Okay. So if any debris is there, it will come to the okay. syringe and uh, once you plush you no, know, the debris goes inside Fine. of the scope. So okay. avoid that one. So you can connect. There is a filter here. Okay. So it will water will get filter and uh, it will uh, okay. mess is there. Okay. Fine. So it is. So the filtered water will come to the syringe. So we go flush it to the same channel. So do it one or two times. <coughs> two times. So again, we go and connect. So now I am flushing air water channel. This pot, small pot. If any minor uh, blockages and uh, to avoid the blockages, this is very important. So, so what our minor uh, blood particles or deep particles, no? so okay. it will really get clean. So, okay, no? so we can remove the mixture. So once uh, pressing is over, just wipe all the surface of the scope thoroughly and uh, absorb for any bubbles. So just smooth the bending part also like this and wait for 3 seconds and absorb for any bubbles or uh, leakages. Then do return angulation, down angulation and right. left 
If there is no bubble is coming means there is no damage in the scope. If any bubble is coming, we have to take out the scope from the water immediately. We have to inform us. So now there is no bubble. So scope is uh, there is no damage in the scope. So now leak test is done. So now how are we supposed to do? This? So we recommend to do every procedure. Okay. After every procedure, we have to do because. Uh, you can easily identify what are the wrong uh, done in the procedure. Suppose we have done five six cases. After five six cases, we have done the leak test. You cannot uh, exactly tell which in which procedure uh, that leak is happened. So to identify exactly problem, so it, after every procedure, we have to do the leak test. This is better way. So it will hardly it will take two three minutes. So better to do every procedure. So leak test is over. So you can take out this scope from the water. So now you can proceed with uh, cleaning process. Uh, so for cleaning process, we have to make uh, three types like this. Okay. So one is for water, one is for detergent, and one is for silex. So every time we have to take fresh water. Okay. So after this uh, liquid test is over, no? then we can move it to detergent solution tank. So 3M or uh, sidism, sidism extra, end of the extra is there, uh, 3M is there, that time is there. So many different solutions are there. So we can, uh, with this much of water, we can put 10 to 20 ml of detergent solution and uh, dilute it. And uh, you can remove for detergent solution and uh, you can remove this leak test. Oh. So while removing, this side you have to remove it first. Because uh, air is there no, inside this scope, so if you remove this for this end first, no, whatever air is there inside this scope, it will come out. Okay. So uh, if you remove directly this part, no, mm. so air remains will be in this scope. So this part will like bulging. Okay. So if any sharp part get or a tip, no, it will easily okay. get damaged. Damn. So remove this part also. So next, uh, just imagine this is the detergent solution. Salon is okay or uh, salon is not nowadays is not technology. So olden days uh, all the almost all use in salon only, uh -huh. but uh, that is not good. So but I will send you the pictures. Uh, so better buy that one. Oh. So detergent solution. So immerse in detergent solution and wipe all the connectors. And again you have to connect like this one. Same as that of previous previous same. Uh -huh. So because uh, detergent should go inside the channels also. Okay. So now only outer part surface will get uh, cleaning with detergent solution. So channels also it will have to get cleaner. So actually, why? What is the purpose of detergent solution? Is to remove the saliva content from the scope. Okay. So if you are not using cleaning with detergent solution, mm -hmm. so over a period of time the color of the scope, this black color. It will get changes to different brown. color, brown color. Yeah. So to avoid that one, so we have to clean with detergent solution. So same, we have to flush the detergent solution, all the channels, suction channel also. Then in actually uh, two three minutes, we have to immerse in. Detergent solution. So just cleaning and uh, take after flushing over. So fresh water we have to make another tub. Okay. So you just shift the scope to fresh water tub. Okay. So in fresh water tub also you have to just wipe it okay. and flush it again because whatever there inside the channel detergent solution it has to come out okay. and it should not mix with the side X because next we are putting in side X. So after cleaning with water, so just shift the Scope to side X uh, term. So side X, there is a two types of side X will be there. So one is side X OP and side X glutra halide. OP and the glute halide. So if it is after halide is uh, five minutes is enough. You know, five minutes uh, bacteria or virus will get clean. Uh, glutra halide means you know 20 minutes you have to immerse in the side X. Then only all the bacteria and virus will get clean. So depending on the what you say. So you can decide either the or the 
So most of the places uh, which are added only because so up the hand is very fast in the uh, very powerful. So we must this both in the side X solution for 20 minutes. So once 20 minutes is over, again switch to water term. So this time again you have to probe previously used the water, then start to store it and uh, take new water, fresh water and the clean uh, score. Because whatever uh, detergent solution is there, that is very powerful. That you should not uh, directly use to the next person. Huh. So so how to clean with water. So after cleaning with water, again same process, plus the channel, air water channel and suction channel. So you can remove that after that. So in cleaning process, you should not enter cleaning process, you should not connect the uh, buttons. Okay. So, the buttons okay. so, so maintain you have to clean with button button also. Okay. Whatever I uh, use uh, during procedure, either survival process, buttons, any other more piece like this. So that also you have to disinfect. Okay. So some amount of moisture has remained inside the tube now. Hmm. So, is there any technique to remove that moisture which is there inside the tube? No. Okay. After the, this serious process is over, we need to dry this pot. This is also very important. So, we have to dry this pot thoroughly, outer part. So, especially these pins. These are the electrical contacts. So, they should not any wet content. If this wet is there, we connect directly to the processor. The power passes through this connector and it will get shot. So if you directly connect it to the camera, there is chances of damage is happening to the camera also. So that means before every time, every time connection will before connection, make sure that these both the sides pins are properly dry. So after drying, so if you have any another second patient. So you can directly do the procedure. Okay. Suppose you don't have the procedure. This is the only one case or uh, all four cases are also finished. So then so we have properly dried this code before hanging, hanging before storing this code. Okay. So like uh, inside, like outside, inside also you have to dry. For that again you have to connect to the processor. This is very important okay. before storage. Otherwise, you know, the fungus will create on the inside the channel mm -hmm. and the uh, air water blockages, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, sometimes uh, the camera will get uh, this color of foggy images is there because uh, any wet content is there. So, this can connect to the processor. So, instead of water bottle, you can connect this black one. So either you can uh, empty the water bottle also, that is okay. also okay. So empty the water bottle. You can empty the water bottle and connect. Such an also you can connect. I am not connected to water bottle because there is no water in the water container. Okay. Just press it. There is a remaining water inside this pot. So this has to dry before storing. So if there is any water means so that it will create the fungal inside this pot. So if you don't have procedure to it, so it will get, create one layer kind of thing on the camera. So the base will get foggy kind of thing. Again, cleaning is a little difficult. So before storing, there is one more option is there. So this is the dry button. 
air water channel cleaning adapter. So we can remove this air water button and leave it for 5 minutes. So automatically it will get dry. So the difference between this button and the, this button. Huh? So you need to press every time. So if you press only uh, pressure will create at the only air channel, full press water channel. So this button <coughs> simultaneous at a time both the channels will get dry automatically. So no need to press and now. So my question, in both the channels, air is passing. So leave it for 5 minutes. So make sure that uh, there is no water coming from the tip. Just press and uh, see. Small, small bubbles is coming. So if this bubble is there means uh, like water, if, if you leave this water, this much water after two days that particular part will get white now, the same thing will happen in the camera also. So that's why you have to try this code. And they have to do suction also. So, you know, 